It was a peaceful day, March 8, 1669, on the Mediterranean island of Sicily. Residents were not expectant of the massive event that was about to change the lives of 20,000 citizens. This same day, an earthquake broke out underneath the ancient, yet still active, Mount Etna. Citizens did not obey the warning signs to evacuate, and on March 11th, a larger eruption broke out. 3,000 died on the mountainside of asphyxiation from the initial wave of smoke and ash. The citizens of Catania were frightened that their city would be destroyed by the slowly moving lava aimed directly at their city. Instead of evacuating their city in search for a new home, they decided to divert the lava by building trenches that caused the lava to go towards the city of Paterno. In true Italian mobster fashion, the city of Paterno was destroyed just because the people of Catania couldn't fathom seeing their city destroyed. The Paterno residents were closely monitoring the developments of the volcanic activity and realized that there was a change in direction of the lava flow that could head straight for their own city. The Paterno citizens realized that the Cantillas trenches were putting them in real danger with this new development and fought them to stop digging the trenches that could lead the lava to demolish their city. The Paternos managed to stop the Cantinia residents from digging their trenches, causing the flow of lava to hit Cantinia five weeks later because they no longer had their protection and 17,000 died. Due to this fight over lava diversion, it was quickly made illegal in Italy to divert the natural flow of lava. It had become clear that trying to divert it would only likely endanger another town, causing citizens to focus on fighting each other rather than evacuating. This law remained in effect until fairly recently as lava diversion was successfully used in 1983. Since the eruption of 1669, there has not been an eruption of similar magnitude and or effects. However, there has been a couple of minor eruptions views since.